Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency President Abikasam. Before I call on uh, His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki, please, uh, Excellency, permit me to recognize the presence of uh, the members of the Ministerial Facilitation, Ministerial Facilitation Committee. I see the representative of uh, Eritrea. If you could just stand, Excellency. Um, representative of Djibouti, Ismail, um, and uh, African Union, Ambassador Fong, has worked very hard with us. We have also the representative of uh, His Excellency President Museveni. I wonder whether he wants to say something, maybe as a message from President Museveni. And since he started us off, uh, ideally I would not call an ambassador to address His Excellency, but if he's coming as an envoy, I think he could come and say something. Um, he's actually pre the um, Ugandan ambassador to Ethiopia and the AU, um, and therefore representing Minister Augustin Ishimi. I'll make it short and sweet. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. President Mwai Kibaki, Your Excellencies, the Ambassadors, Honorable Ministers, Your Excellencies in various categories, Your Excellencies, the leaders of Somalia, ladies and gentlemen. I will read this on behalf of our Minister of Regional Foreign Affairs for Regional Cooperation, Augustus Nsini, who unfortunately was not unable to make it today. He sends this regard. We share with you, the Somali people, we share with joy with you, the Somali people, and grateful to the Almighty God who has made this day possible. We indeed thank the Somali leaders who have put their differences aside and agreed to give peace a chance. We are all indebted to the government of Kenya under the leadership of President Mwai Kibaki to bring peace to, this, to the Somali people. We would like to thank on Kohoz and Shoka who has had many sleepless nights but nevertheless vote to see the process through. We would like also to thank Ambassador Kipodea Talistin. We also thank you for your wise advice, patience, and leadership. It will be amiss if we do not recognize the Facilitation Committee, the international community, who have contributed financial resources for the process not to stall. Lastly, to the Somali leaders, this is just the beginning a foundation, make it strong, make, make it last for peace sake. The Somali people expect nothing less but to live in peace and tranquility, to be able to raise their heads high among the great people of Africa. Long live Somalia. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. And now on behalf of the international community, the EGAD Partnership Forum, I would want to invite Ambassador Ungaro to come and say a few words. He has worked very, very hard during this uh, consultation. Somali brothers and sisters know that I usually speak very short speeches. Um, Today is going to have to be especially short because of the oceans of wisdom that have preceded me. I would like to uh, say that uh, many words of appreciation have been already uttered on the team that has worked so hard. I would like to single out, apart from my friend uh, uh, Ambassador Kitagat and my friend Ambassador Afei, I would like to single out the total commitment of Foreign Minister Karondo Musioka. Without, 
Without his total commitment, we would not be here today. Of course, his total commitment would have been useless if it had not been matched by the total commitment of our Somali brothers and sisters who are over there. And uh, we are very fortunate to have seen how, from an impossible situation, success can be achieved. I would like to reassure the various Somali leaders who have spoken today and others with whom I've spoken in these past few days that the international community will not abandon Somalia to its fate once a conference is over. Uh, I know that within the next few weeks there will be a conference of donors and the big effort will have to be made to establish the priorities on how to tackle the problems of Somalia. The priority, the first priority, as the president of the TNG said, is pacification, disarmament, and rehabilitation of the militias. Uh, but then the field of education, of sanitation, or animal welfare, because uh, livestock is so important for Somalia, the infrastructures. There is a lot to be done, and we are going to do it. This is really a commitment of the international community. Uh, this is my, uh, tomorrow is my last day as Italian special envoy for Somalia, so I would like to address one final word to my Somali brothers and sisters. I, uh, 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 a speech has come to my mind that when I listened to it, it was by President uh, Kennedy of the United States, I thought these words would be remembered. It was not uh, when he was in Berlin and he said, Ishina in Berlin, although I would like one day to be in Mogadishu or in uh, Posasso or in Ardeza and say, I am a Somali. But um, he, at his inauguration in 1961, asked his people, he said, Ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Now we know that each of you, or most of you, have ambitions, have reservations, have suspicions, which are all legitimate and understandable. But in these next few weeks, which are so crucial, remember that the, your one ambition must be the welfare of Somalia, and you must give the Somali people a chance to regain their position in the family of nations. And we will be there to help you. Thank you very much.